Okay, it's Mark Wiens here. I am in Jaipur and I am about to sample some Rajasthani food. Okay, so with Rajasthani food, rice is actually not that popular because I ordered a side of rice and it came in a tiny, tiny little uh, like one shot bowl. Um, but what the, the the main starch is something called bati, and it's like a wheat a wheat ball, a wheat deep fried ball, I think. And you're supposed to he he showed me you're supposed to break it and then mix it with the dal. Feed, mix and put dal. Okay, so you mix it with mix it with dal, and then you just sort of pull that around. Mmm. It's it's a little bit on the dry side, but it's it's like um. A little crunchy on the outside, um, very weedy, um, and that's it's good. Kind of soft on the inside. Um, I don't know what this is. That's like a sour yogurty doll or something like that, and I think then this is just the common other doll. Let me show you how to break open my next bati. Rajasthan is a desert state in India, so this is food that 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 lasts for a long time and it it preserves well like as if you're a nomad. Uh, so this is kind of nomadic Indian food. Also got a fresh hot roti. Ooh, it's hot. So actually, the more the more I'm eating this Rajasthani food, the more it's growing on me. Um, these these uh, bati balls are are kind of kind of good, and especially this this cabbage curry. This stuff is bomb. And I mixed it all up with the rice. I don't know if that's uh, legal or not, but it sure tastes good. That cabbage. Also coming with Itali is a Rajasthani dessert, and it looks, I don't know, it's its quite grainy. Um, almost looks like the bati itself, actually. But let's let's sample it. Mm. It almost tastes like sweet breadcrumbs flavored with nuts and cardamom. It's pretty good.